Lucien Freud, born on December 8, 1922 in Berlin, Germany, was a renowned British painter and one of the preeminent figurative artists of the 20th and early 21st centuries. He was the grandson of the famous psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud and the brother of the British television personality and politician Clement Freud. Freud's family fled Germany in 1933 to escape the rise of the Nazi regime settling in England. Lucian Freud became a British citizen in 1939. Initially, he attended the Central School of Art in London and later studied the East Anglian School of Painting and Drawn in Deham. His artistic talent was evident early on and his career began to flourish after the end of World War II. Freud's early works were influenced by surrealism but he eventually shifted towards a more realistic and figurative style. He became known for his intensive and psychologically charged portraits, often depicting the human form with a remarkable level of detail. Ford's paintings captured the physicality of his subjects, revealing their vulnerabilities and the complexities of the human condition. One of his significant early works is the 1952 painting Interior at Paddington, which showcased his evolving style. For its career gained momentum during the 1950s and 60s as he established himself as a leading figure in the art world. He was associated with the School of London, a group of figurative painters that included Francis Bacon, Frank Oberbeck, and Leon Kossoff. Freud's subjects range from his friends and family members to fellow artists and lovers. He often portrayed his subjects in raw, unflinching detail, using his thick impasto technique that added a tactile quality to his paintings. Some of his most famous works include Girl with a White Dog, made sometime between 1950 and 1951, Benefits Supervisor Sleepin', made in 1995, and Naked Portrait with Reflection, made sometime in 1980-1981. Freud was known for his meticulous and time-consuming approach to painting. His portraits could take months or even years to complete as he sought to capture the essence of his subjects in a deeply personal and authentic way. He continued to paint well into his later years, producing a significant body of work that showcased his technical skill and unwavering commitment to his artistic vision. Lucian Freud received numerous accolades and honors throughout his career. In 1983, he was appointed a Companion of Honor, and in 1993, he became a member of the Order of Merit. His works are held in major collections around the world, including the Tate Gallery in London, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and the Saint Pompidou in Paris. Lucien Freud passed away on July 20th, 2011, at the age of 88. Despite his death, his impact in the art world endures and his paintings continue to be celebrated for their emotional depth, technical prowess, and profound exploration of the human form. Lucian Foren's artwork is characterized by an, its intense psychological scrutiny, meticulous attention to detail, and a distinctive approach 
to figurative painting. Here are some of the key aspects of Ford's art and his contributions to the art world. Figurative Realism Ford was a leading figure in the resurgence of figurative art during a time when abstraction dominated the art scene. His commitment to realism was evident in his detailed depictions of the human form, capturing the physicality and individuality of his subjects. Intimacy and Vulnerability Ford's painting often conveyed a sense of intimacy and vulnerability. He painted his friends, family, and lovers, presenting them in unguarded moments. His subjects were often depicted in various states of undress, contributing to a sense of raw and unfiltered humanity. This approach was a departure from idealized or glamorous representations in art. Psychological depth. Ford's work delved into the psychological and emotional aspects of portraiture. His subjects seemed to reveal their innermost thoughts and emotions, creating a profound connection between the viewer and the painted figure. The intense gaze and psychological tension in his portraits are a testament to Ford's ability to capture the complexities of the human psyche. Technique and Brushwork Ford's technique involved a meticulous and labor-intensive process. He often used a thick impasto style, building a layers of paint to create textured surface. The application of paint was deliberate and strategic, contributed to the tactile quality of his work. This technique also added to the sense of three-dimensionality and presence in his paintings. The long duration of paintings. Freud was known for the prolonged duration of his painting sessions. Some projects took months or even years to complete. This dedication allowed him to explore the subject through thoroughly and capture the nuances of their changing moods and expressions. Freud's style evolved over the course of his career. His early works were influenced by surrealism, but he later shifted to a more grounded and realistic approach. The latter phase of his career saw a focus on larger, more monumental compositions and a continued exploration of the human form and its imperfections. Lucian's Freud's art is a testament to the power and fig of figurative painting to convey the depth and complexity of the human experience. His ability to capture the essence of his subjects in a raw and unflinching manner has left an indelible mark on the history of art. For its contributions to the contemporary art world are substantial. He played a crucial role in redefining portraiture in the later half of the 20th century. His influence is evident in the world of subsequent generation of figurative painters who appreciate his dedication to capturing the authenticity of the human experience. For his legacy is cemented in the art world and his works continue to be highly regarded. His paintings are held in prestigious collections around the world, and retrospectives on his career are, have often been mounted posthumously to celebrate his impact on the art scene. Lucian Freud's artwork has been exhibited in numerous prestigious institutions and galleries around the world, 
Here are some of the notable venues where his work has been displayed. Tate Britain in London, UK, for its work are prominently featured at the Tate Collection, and the Tate Britain has hosted several retrospectives and exhibitions dedicated to his art. The Museum of Modern Art, MoMA, New York, USA. The MoMA has showcased for its work and his paintings are part of the museum's permanent collection. The National Portrait Gallery, London, UK. Ford's portraits have been exhibited in the National Portrait Gallery in London, UK, which has organized shows highlighting his contribution to portraiture. Le Centre Pompidou, Paris, France. Ford's work has been a part of the exhibitions at the Centre Pompidou, including retrospectives that explore his career and artistic development. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, USA. Ford's paintings have been featured in exhibitions at the Met, one of the most renowned art institutions in the world. The Museum of Contemporary Art, Los Angeles, USA. Ford's art has been exhibited in the United States, including shows at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. The Costas Torres Chess Museum, Vienna, Austria. Ford's work has been display, displayed in international venues including the Costas Torres Museum in Vienna, among one of the many other exhibits and institutions that have hosted his art. The Hishorn Museum and Sculpture Garden, Washington, D.C., USA. For its paintings, have been featured in exhibition at the Hishorn Museum, known for its focus on modern and contemporary art. The Royal Academy of Art, London, UK. Ford has, was associated with the Royal Academy and his works were exhibited there during his lifetime as well as posthumously. The Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, Texas, USA. For its painting, have been ex part of the exhibitions in the United States, including shows at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. These were just a few examples, and for its art has been exhibited in many other galleries and museums globally. His posthumous influence continues through ongoing exhibitions, retrospectives, and the presence of his work in major collections worldwide.